Hey, I'm Doug. Welcome to Camino 2020. I want to talk to you today about socks and underwear. Okay, yes, we're going to talk about underwear today, but come on, we're not 12 years old, so let's just be grown-ups about this, mature adults. It's just part of your clothing kit, not a big deal. <laughs> underwear <laughs> right for the ladies out there fair warning I am not going to be talking to you when it comes to the underwear section this will be for men about men it may not be something you are interested in watching and I wouldn't blame you if you didn't alright so let's start with socks your footwear is incredibly important it's probably the most important thing that you have to decide on your Camino because you're gonna be doing your whole Camino on your feet if you don't take care of your feet, pretty much nothing else that you do, gear or clothing wise, is going to matter because it's your feet that are going to determine if you make it or not. So one of the big concerns on the Camino is blisters. Now there are plenty of good blister videos out there, um, if we can call it that. Um, I just want to go over what I'm doing. This has worked really well for me. So one of the things that I found that looked a little weird um, are these toe socks. This is a brand called Injinji, spelled just like it sounds. Um, and essentially, these are gloves for your feet. Your toes go in these little slots, and this becomes your liner. This becomes your first layer on your foot. And what it does is each one of these isolates all the skin on your foot from itself as well as from your footwear. So your toes are not rubbing skin on skin because they've got this material in between each one. These are really well made, padded in all the right places. Ever since I started wearing these in Jinji toe socks, I have never had another hot spot. I haven't even had the beginning of a blister. Of course, I also switched to my Ultra Lone Peak Magic Shoes in the meantime, and that probably had a lot to do with it too. But I have to say, these have been fantastic. Next up, you've got to get your hiking socks. I have become a total believer in Darn Tough. They have a lifetime guarantee. If you ever wear through these socks, you can send them back to the company, they'll send you a brand new pair. That's how confident Darn Tough is in their socks. They're comfortable, they're breathable, they're padded in all the right places. You've got a thick heel, nice thick toe box, but then the top is a completely different material, nice, thin, elastic-y, stretchy material and then standard sock material on top. And they make these in ankle, they make these that go up over the calf. Want to give a quick plug to Drop. It used to be known as Mass Drop. Google it up, get on their mailing list. About every three days, they've got these darn tough socks on sale. And you will want to find them on sale. Not gonna lie, these are expensive socks. So you are paying for the quality, but you're getting kind of doubled up on the quality. Not only is it just a better hiking sock, but it's also guaranteed for a lifetime. You're never going to have to buy these socks again. I got these in two colors. I think this is the same um, style variation, but these are blue. So I'm basically gonna bring two pairs of the toe socks and two pairs of the darn tough hiking socks. That's gonna be my Camino sock. Now, when it comes to being on the Camino, there is another piece of clothing that rides right up against your bod that you're going to want to consider, and that is underwear. <laughs> underwear, <laughs> right? This is the point in the video where the ladies might want to stop watching, because we are going to be discussing the crotchal area. Underwear has never been like a major consideration for me when it comes to backpacking or hiking gear. Um, but as I looked into it, and the more hiking I started doing here in California, where it was getting hotter and hotter and hotter, the farther I trained, the more I realized just how important a good pair of underwear is for hiking. You've got to have a good pair of under there. Did I just make you say underwear? <laughs> underwear. <laughs> right? So, let's get back to clothing basics when it comes to hiking. What don't you want? Cotton. What is practically every pair of underwear out there made of? You got it. Cotton. Cotton is like putting on a sponge. 
all your sweat is going to soak in, it's going to stay there, it's going to be up against you, nasty. That is not an area that you want sweat collecting. Besides the gross factor, there's the chafing issue. Anytime you have skin coming in contact with skin and you sweat, you're basically creating friction. Now, the problem with hiking is that if it's hot, you're going to sweat. If it's cold, you're probably going to put on extra clothes and you're going to sweat. Or it's going to rain or something's going to happen and basically your skin layer is going to become moist. And when it does, it's going to create that friction. So a moment ago, I talked about how toe socks can be very helpful with that because it keeps each toe and the skin on each toe separate so that it's the material rubbing on the material instead of skin rubbing on skin. And when it comes to underwear, you want basically the same thing. So here's the problem with typical men's underwear. If you think about what a pair of briefs, whether boxers or not, look like, they're basically just a big round bucket with two holes in them for your leg. And what that means is the underwear is covering your body in a sort of two-dimensional way, but it's not keeping your body from contacting itself. So what can be done about this? Well, number one, just like the rest of your clothes, you want your underwear to be breathable. So I'm not going to get awkward and start showing you my underwear, but I will go online and post some pictures of what I'm talking about. So here is kind of the cheap version of the hiking underwear that I tried at first. These are the La Passas, and they are labeled as a hiking underwear. I had the same problem with this underwear that I did with my Columbia Silver Ridge all polyester convertible pants. I was having sweat problems, I was having chafing problems. I discovered that there was a brand that seemed to be pretty popular amongst hikers, and it is called Ex Officio. There are some things about Ex Officio that I absolutely think work. Number one, they are extremely breathable. There's a mesh covered by an extremely thin layer, so they're not actually see-through, but if you hold them up to the light, you can see a million little holes in them. Further, they have an antimicrobial feature in the material. So if you have to go a little extra time in between washings, it's not going to be anywhere near as big of a deal as it would be without that. And because it's breathable, it's not going to create as much of a problem in the first place as would something like cotton. The other thing about the ex officios that is pretty obvious even from the ads that you see on Amazon and other places, another major selling point with the ex officio is that they have a pretty noticeable compartment for the man parts. And while this is a little strange to uh, look at online, it is incredibly helpful when you're hiking. Think of it like the toe socks. You have something protruding from your body. Your best bet when you're hiking is to have it surrounded by material so that the skin on skin contact does not happen. And what is great about the ex officio underwear <laughs> underwear, right? It's like this really good hybrid between boxers, which are very comfortable, but do absolutely nothing for you when it comes to chafing, and your tidy whitey briefs that are good for coverage, but don't allow any breathability or motion in the crotchal area under discussion. For me, it's been a game changer. Again, I've never really been hugely focused in on my underwear, <laughs> but after my first experience with what they call monkey butt, I'll let you Google that rather than describe it myself. I am completely sold on the idea of good, breathable underwear. All right, I hope this video has been helpful for you. If it has, please give it a like, click that thumbs up, and then if you haven't subscribed to the channel, just click subscribe. Throw me some comments if you've seen some better socks or underwear for hiking. I'd love to know about it. No pictures, please. And when you subscribe, click that bell notification, and that way future videos will be sent to you automatically. Until then, I'm Doug. This is Camino 2020. Buen Camino.